Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. This is the second time I've tried to make this video. I want to make something very clear and I want to not beat around the bush. I want to tell people that Allah has guided me to Islam and it is Allah who has placed this in my heart. I left Christianity not because I didn't think that God was in the religion or that, you know, there was no, I didn't see any manifestations of God's presence in Christianity. I know people who are Christian, who are rightly guided, who work righteousness, have taqwa, are conscious of God, are conscious of their return to their Creator, who pray, who wake up at night and pray, who seek to please God and fear displeasing God. I know. It's a fact. Now, a lot of people will say, you have to be a Muslim. You have to follow the Prophet Muhammad and the Quran, or you will burn in hell. Really? Yes, you do, as a Muslim, if you're going around saying that. But if you are a Muslim, you shouldn't be going around saying that. Because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam didn't tell you to go around saying that. He told you to tell the truth and to invite people to Islam. He told you that there was no compulsion in religion. He told you not to ever take intimates other than your own because this is the hack. He was not unkind and unfair to other people. He did not go around telling them that they were going to burn in hell. He invited them to Allah. Allah warns people of going to hell in the Quran by rejecting truth, by being arrogant, by being oppressive, by denying what is clear and what is simple, by ascribing lies and partners to him. Nothing can save you, nothing can harm you, except for Allah. Everything in existence owes their existence to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There would be no messengers, there would be no message, there would be nothing if it wasn't for Allah. And He created you to worship Him. Your return and your beginning, Him. And he will tell them where they differed, and you, and you will be confronted. Wallahi, he knows everything. He knows what is seen and what is unseen. He knows who is going around telling lies and saying things that they have no knowledge of. He knows about those who argue about things they have no clear knowledge of, while rejecting what is clear and true. Love is better than hate. Peace is better than war. Unity better than separation. There is only one God. Your return is to God. And you will be judged. I believe in Islam. I believe in the Quran. And I know that if I walked away from Islam or the Quran, I would be in hell. Yes, I believe that. And believe me, knowing that this deen is the hack is the only reason I'm a Muslim. I'm not doing this to gain cool points. I'm not doing this to impress anyone because I like looking strange amongst people who don't understand. I don't set my life around this because I'm bored. I do it because I know that this is the only way for me. I do it because this is what Allah wills in my life. But I will not and I do not say that all Christians and all Jews and all whoever are going to burn in hell. Why? Because it's not true. Because Allah says it's not true. In the Quran it says the Muslims, the Jews, and the Christians, and the Sabians, those who worship one God, believe in one God, and work righteousness, their reward is with their Lord. What if you go to a Christian or a Jew and say, you have to accept this, blah, 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 and they can't. 
because they're afraid of displeasing Allah. Because they can't, they're, they're so afraid of, of displeasing Allah, even though they're humbled in their heart and they believe what you're saying, but it's just so hard and it would make it difficult for them. And maybe they would lose their mind even. You don't know, Allah knows best. But do never lie on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do I believe you have to die in the state of Islam to reach paradise? Yes, I do. But what does the word Islam mean? Can you reach a state of Islam from being a Christian and being a, a Jew? Can you? I believe so. I believe it's very hard. I believe it's harder than it is for us. Because the innovations and the things that their preachers are teaching them, they become content. They become feeling like, oh, I'm saved, I'm safe, so I don't have to take my religion seriously. Yes, I believe all that. But do I believe that there are sincere people who Allah will have mercy on? Yes, I do. And I believe that saying otherwise is lying to about Allah. And I think that we should be very careful about doing that, inshallah. If you want to argue and you want to say that I'm a liar or that I'm an innovator, I don't know what to tell you because you're probably one of the ones I'm talking about. A lot of these scholars and a lot of these people who claim to believe, they don't even understand the message. They think that they own a lot. They think that their religion owns a lot. Their book owns a lot. Who sent the book? Who sent the religion? Allah has prepared a perfect religion for you if you follow it. It is Islam. It is the submission and surrender peacefully and obediently to the will of the one creator of the heavens of the earth, who no one is like, who no one is equal to, he begets not, nor is he begotten, that is a lower animal act, he does not get pregnant, nor does he impregnate. So no, Jesus is not the Son of God in that sense, because God is not like us. He doesn't get people pregnant in that sense. Jesus, peace be upon him, cannot be your Savior. Why? Because there is no Savior but God. Because Jesus was sent by God, surrendered his will for God. If anything saves you about Jesus, it's by the grace and mercy of God. Understand? It's not hard. It's not difficult. It's not complex. May Allah be pleased with us. May Allah forgive us. May Allah bring us together. And may Allah remove arrogance, pride, ego, and all things that are unclean from our hearts. And may He open our eyes and our hearts to the truth. And may He disgrace the people who refuse the truth both here and in the hereafter. La ilaha illallah. There is no God but God. Peace, blessings, and mercy of Allah be upon Prophet Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.